Now that we have QReader capable of understanding PFSense log by virtue of either going to the exercise on the DSM editor or importing the zip file and adding it to your QReader CE instance, all, all it's left to do, and I did this step that I want to show you that, is to go into your PFSense login, go status, system logs, right? Settings, so I'm actually doing this, go here, settings, and scroll all the way to the bottom of it and I you click this check mark and then opens this section I put the IP address of my Q reader box for this exercise which is this one on the port 514 and I selected the three type of uh, PFSense log that Carlos G did the mapping for uh, firewall events DNS and DACP I click save applied and I was getting DNS logs into Q reader let me show you that so I'm getting my PSNs uh, logs in here. Very nice. I did, you know, went back for a couple of hours back in time, uh, and I I'm searching only on the PSNs log source. I group them by event name, pulling down here, and here I have them. So you can see the ACP once firewall denied. And there is an unknown here that um, maybe it is something that Carlos is not Carlos G has not in included in the parsing. It might be something that may, some of you may want to add and maybe update this and let us know by putting a comment uh, on the video so we can update this and pass it along to everybody else. So also one thing that uh, I mentioned when I was doing the exercise on the DSM editor is that and that wasn't, I don't think what Carlos G covered that on his uh, very nice guide, is the fact that we are asking, we are extracting from the DHCP logs information in the asset database. So, let me actually find one example. So in here, if, and I already look at this, so that's why I'm going straight to it. Um, this is one of my ring cameras actually doing DNS request. So the asset database should have been able to pick that up. So if I go into the asset database and I'm going to look for a host name, I can put that or any other name. Uh, it is a uh, ring HP cam. Let me try the C6 and click OK. Yeah, here it is. I, this is the IP address for that particular. It's actually a different one than, than, than the one I have. But again, this is not only parsing your nice logs, getting the ACP, DNS, firewall denied. All those nice logs, but also getting the asset database of your curator CE being populated from that information. 